welcome back my lovely viewers let's solve this together okay when you have something like this the first thing we need to do is let's remove this square root it's actually it actually makes the question to look ambiguous now we all know that square root of x is same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2 right yes so let's do that here let's remove the square root sign that means we can rewrite this as what? 2 to the power of half. Okay? Raised to the power of x plus what? 2. Alright. Um, now, recall, um, using law of indices, when you have a to the power of m, and your number is also raised to another power, the law of indices say that to get one power, that we just have to multiply the two powers together. So we are going to write m times n. Okay? So that simply means that we can rewrite this as what? 2 to the power of half times what? x plus 2. Okay? Is equal to 1 over. Now, this 32 can be written as 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 5. Alright, so what do we do? In indices, the best thing you can do for yourself is if you can actually put whatever you have, the numbers you have to be on the same base. If once you're able to make them, make them to be in the same base, then your solution is very close. So, this is 1 over 2 to the power of 5. I want to bring this 2 to the power of 5 up. And indices says that 1 over x if I want to remove this one over, I'm going to introduce negative sign to the power of my denominator. So that means that it's going to be x to the power of minus 1 because the power of x here is 1. So I will just introduce negative sign to the power. Okay, so that means I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of half times x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of minus 5. Okay? All right, let's continue. Now, at this point, notice that they are already on the same base. So that means the powers are equal. Once the base are equal, the powers are equal. That means we can now write that half bracket x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the, sorry, is equal to the power of this one, which is minus 5. Okay, so let's open this bracket. Let's open the brackets. Half times x is what? x over 2 plus 2 times half is the same thing as what? 1. Right? Is equal to minus 5. All right. Now, let's transfer this one to the other side of the equation. So, let's subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. Then, we'll have that x over 2 is equal to minus 5 minus 1. Right? Yes. So we now have that x over 2 is equal to... Now, minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6, right? Minus 6. Okay. Remember that what we are looking for is what? The value of x. At this point, you know that this is the same thing as um, minus 6 over 1. We have not really changed anything. So when we cross multiply... We'll have that 2 times minus 6, we give us minus 12, is equal to x times 1, we give us x. And this is the final solution. Thank you so much for watching.